Have you guys seen you, Have you guys seen Endgame? Endgame? Uh, no. No. Marvel? <laughs> no. Endgame. We haven't. You guys haven't seen Endgame? No. A person named Ariel Noel 2 asked us, what are some video games we want to see brought into, into film? And this is one of those topics that people have talked about, but I feel like we hear a lot of the same like, oh, Zelda, oh, Mario, and it's like, okay, those are probably oh, all... Oh, Gears of Wars. Yeah, there's things like that that's oh, going to happen. Oh, Halo. Halo, I know. The common answers. So let's give what we think to be some of the more uh, unique answers. Gabo, I know the first one Gabo said was Bionic Commando. Oh, yes. So why? What do you want to see? What's your What's your reasoning? I think it's so much potential uh, to do a movie like that. I don't know, something like Johnny Mnemonic. Who? Johnny jo Mnemonic? Johnny? I know who he's talking about. It's, uh, it's something it's very f futuristic. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think the main thing to making a movie like that has to be a very good director. Yeah, of course. And also it has to be a our music, uh, our music, our movie. That makes sense. Well, uh, technically, Bionic, we need blood. But doesn't blood. Bionic Commando, anyway, in general, have like a dark backstory that like got changed in America? Wasn't there like Nazi symbolism and Hitler and stuff well, and all that? Well, I think in, in the Japanese games, it was the Nazi. Got it. But when they throw it here in in North America, in North America, they change it. And that happens a lot. Oh yeah. North America gets the short end of the stick it, on the on the it, on the, it the wacky. To Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> when Ricky came to America, he changed. How old was he? Like two? I was born here. You came on a tube. That wasn't me. Oh, I really thought he did. <laughs> Racist. <laughs> Alright, on my choice, the first one I said is Blaster Master. And the reason I said that, I know a lot of people have like made fun of the, the, the storyline because it's just like, oh, Jason is chasing literally his frog. And it's kind of, there's nothing to it. But the reason I got excited for it is because there was actually like a, a guy a long time ago who was actually going to make a Blaster Master movie, but it didn't get end up getting like kickstarted yeah. as much as it should have. So it ended up failing. But I remember there was like all these different like models that he had going and some like CGI going. And it got me like excited for a potential story that could be like, there's more to that frog than we realize, you know, not just, you know, it could have been his his father's frog who gave it to him before he died or anything, you know, that just kind of brought it together. And I, I guess, just wanted to see something that has a story of the ship being with Jason. Did yes. you finish Zero? I finished Zero. Okay. And I finished it with the Shantae DLC. Okay. So after I finished Zero, I understand why the frog. Got it. Yes. And it yes, makes yes, yes, sense. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that movie was being kickstarted long before oh, Zero, okay. so it yeah. was before... The, I didn't the, know about that. Yeah, that, yeah, Actually, that's that can be pretty cool. Yeah. Ricky, your first pick was ST Rider, ST Strider. ST Rider. You know what? I would love to see something like that. Like, have you guys seen, you, have you guys seen Endgame? Endgame, uh, no. No. Marvel? <laughs> no. Endgame. We haven't. You guys haven't seen Endgame? No. Uh, I don't know if I ever told you, we hate... Uh, me and Gabor are gonna get a lot of hate. We're not that big into superheroes. Yeah. Superhero sucks. These guys, they don't know what they're missing. It's okay, right. tell us. We so, want to know though. So Hawkeye, I, I like Hawkeye. You guys know who I know who Hawkeye, Hawkeye is, yes. Right. He's really dark in that movie. And I think a Strider movie that's like really dark, kind of like, if you make a Strider movie, you kind of have to make it a l sort of dark because it's like, what movie isn't good dark? <laughs> yeah, movies like, get a good sense when I have that. Can I, can I add was something? Really dark. A video game or a comic, when they make it in a movie, they make it PG. Sometimes, yeah. The majority oh, a of lot the time, of times, let's yeah, be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah, they've done yeah. that. And it's like... Uh, it's I, like, I, I, I want to see a rated R Mario yeah. movie. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> really? A rated R Mario. Really? Yeah, no, oh. I don't, I don't. Anything else on that one, Ricky? I you think it would be cool to see something like I that. I just want to see a blade that big that's that quick. Yes. You know what I mean? I'd love to hear that in the, in the theaters. Like, fling, fling. Oh, that little. sound effect is great. So I got a question. Yeah. What is the closest movie to Strider? Oh, I don't know right now. The ambient. Oh, head. If, the I'm, ambient. I mean, I got one. What? Blade about? Runner. Okay, I could kind of yeah. see that. Speaking of Blade Runner, this has nothing to do with Blade Runner. <laughs> Gabo's next one was, was, was Trojan. Oh, yeah. I would like to see a Trojan movie like, I don't know if you guys ever see Fist of North Star? Yes. Probably you know, right? I know what it is too. So, 
that kind of ambient but i think it's perfect for a movie too like the futuristic end of the war movie yeah trojan almost like some of the characters in trojan remind me of like mad max characters exactly. like the guys with like the armadillo yeah, shells exactly. in their back i feel like it's a lot of a uh, homemade armor type functioning weird tin and foil that, and all that stuff and that's why that game is one of my favorite ones because back in the 80s the first capcom arcades i like that era because it was so obscure. We need a movie. Hey, yeah. director, you're seeing this, please. No director. Do a try in a movie. <laughs> uh, my next one, I'm gonna say Outrun, and I say it because I just like a lot of those like Magnum PI, very like almost like Hopper and Stranger Things. Like, I want to see a guy that's like solo in his car with his with his top down with a Hawaiian shirt on, just going from town to town with epic 80s music on, just. Kicking bologna sandwiches out of people's hands. That's a weird you term to use. You don't need a movie for that. I can do that. No, no, no. <laughs> and no, I no. can sing. No, I need it. It's, I want it to be an American movie. Well, wasn't there a movie kind of <laughs> like that, though? The Charlie Sheen was in it? He was literally driving a car. <laughs> well, Knight Rider and stuff. But I'm talking <laughs> like... Uh, I think I remember that. It's like... It's like I don't remember the... the, the it, it he was, was just being chased by cops like the entire time, I think. Oh, and there's yeah, a girl on dude. It. And he stopped. Yeah, he was, was a candy bar or something. He was the girl from uh, Buffy the Vampire, the movie. Oh, oh, Sarah Jessica Parker? No, it's not. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? Christy, Sarah Michelle Geller? Christy Swanson, something like that. I don't. It was know. a blonde. Mary bro. Swanson? I, I don't remember that much about that movie. Mary, it was like a blur. Mary Swanson <laughs> sucks. Yeah, whatever. Well, that's, I, I just love epic 80s montages. I want every scene of that to every time you come back yeah. from commercial. Well, come I guess on. not movie. You just want to be Hopper. I do want to be Hopper. Hopper's that's true. Awesome. Ricky, your next was Mega Man X. You got to explain that one to me. Why you want to see that as a movie? All right, so I obviously great game, but I want to see that a movie. People always talk about like, oh, Mega Man should be a movie, but I wouldn't want to see a kitty like Mega Man One or something like that movie. I'd want it to be like cooler, like at least make it like PG thirteen or something. Make it like with zero, like as a like, dude, zero's bad of the bone. Mega Man X is bad of the bone. <laughs> Gabo's burp is just bad. Sorry. So, so do you want it like? Oh, sorry, I just spit like a PG thirteen. Are you saying like? Mega Man and Zero, kind of like a buddy film, like a buddy cop? Yeah, like, kind of like that. Lethal Weapon? Like, you know how X they have the Mavericks? Like, it, I don't think Mega Man X ma is Maverick, right? Put, put it this way, it'd be cool to see, uh, like, all, all the characters. Like, I love, like, the, the Vile. I would love to see him against Vile. Like, some Yeah, but Sigma. I, but I, I'm sorry, but, but, but I, I don't think it, it, it makes. It makes well. But I would love it to see, I would love to see it like that Spider-Man, uh, you know, the... The new Spider-Man movie? It's Marvel. <sighs> okay, the, the cartoon guy. one. Like, uh, like those kind of You are too much superhero, bro. Homecoming? No, not Homecoming. Oh, oh, the new one? The, yeah, with yeah. Miles Morales? Yeah. Like that type of animation? Oh, no, that that's animation. interesting. The Puerto Rican Spider-Man? Because... Nice. <laughs> because I don't think anyone can live up to that, like, level. Like, the, you picture it, like, in your head a certain way. You want it like Sonic the movie. Well, that, that's why Sonic the movie is taking so long to come out. It's you want like, like Mario Bros. They gotta movie, fix it. You, right? you need to make it so people aren't criticizing it the entire time. But you gotta make it like cool. Well, I think it, I think I'll, like Gabo, I think it'd be hard to get the audience to be pleased with it. But yeah. Gabo's next it choice. Is what it is. Gabo's uh, next choice and his final choice for now: Ghosts and Goblins. I think that's the best choice of the night. Yes, if I'm being choice. honest. You cannot go wrong with Ghosts and Goblins. Come on. I, I think it'd be really cool because. Well, all, it would have like horror elements to it. Oh my god! But I, I, I think if it went along with of what the game is, which is brutally difficult and brutally hard, I think there'd be a big story of your character trying over and over and over to yes. to win. Not like you know, most movies they get to the final, the bad guy at the end, and they end up winning. It's like no, I want to see him lose like twenty times and go back and have to retrain and figure out new things. <laughs> what, what about you? Sorry, I jumped in on yours. No, no, it's okay. Um, did you guys ever watch the cast Benia? I watched parts of it, the anime on Netflix. Yes, part parts of it. I would love to see a Ghost and Goblin series like that. Okay, it has to be gore, man. Gore. It has to be gore. blood and gore. Yeah, of course. It's and what it's was the eye. name of the Devil Firebrand? Firebrand. Firebrand. It has to be there. Firebrand would be really cool. It'd be to see cool if they could, like, let's say they do make something like that, but make like a Demon's Crest thing, like explaining him. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'd uh, be cool, dude. Like a backstory with everything, like they did with Castlevania. I think. And do we ever get a backstory about the girlfriend from the games, or no? Or are they just no, no never. I don't think so. But that's a good. That'd be cool, and she's just sitting there chilling old, one day. Yeah. And, woo, 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 and takes her up. <laughs> and and we need to see some underwear with hearts too. 
This is why we keep the show between us. Yeah, he's already burped and talked about underwear within two minutes. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, my, my last one, and Ricky's one who th made me think of this, is Star Fox. And I think because it, it and almost, almost not to the extreme of this, but like the Nintendo announcement when they announced the one for the Wii U where they were like the puppets. I just loved how like light-hearted it was. I, I know there's been some iterations on YouTube where people do like a more serious version of Star Fox. I don't, I wouldn't want to see it there. I'd want to see it very fun and playful. PG. Where, yeah, where we can oh, poke PG. fun at Slippy. Like, like, yeah. like the old Mario show that has the Link and Mario cartoons. Something like that Something I could like show that. my kids to it and that they would enjoy it. And I think that, you know, we do have characters like Slippy. We have, we have Fox who's a little more cool. And then we have Falco who the kids will think is oh, really cool. But he's not like bad to where you don't want your kids to look up to him. You know what I mean? Hey, don't forget Peppy. That'd be the sweet Peppy is like the old wise one, you know? That's what you want. And Uncle Andros! Andros! Yeah. Okay. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, Ricky, your last choice was The Suffering, which is an Xbox game? Ooh. Yeah, it's an Xbox game. I think it'd make a pretty sick horror film, but yeah, like these guys, is you have to make it R. R. Because <laughs> this thing, this game is like dark, but it's awesome. It's like... I think I've explained this game way too many times. It's like oh, Gear, it's like Gears of War, and let's mix it in with a little bit of Silent Hill. It's that kind of a I don't know. I love like when I play the game. I love the way it starts off. You have no idea what's going on. He just wakes up in like the jails. Like who like saw? Just wake up and not know. That that was the one. Yeah, that was the one. He you wake know? up in the jail and yeah, and like begin a, killing like demons something like. It's that? like the guys are like in sit like some of yeah, them are like, scissors. scissors. Yeah. Oh yeah, my god, that game. Such a good game. But imagine that as a movie. Well, well while we'll you have to be R. While we're talking about it before we go, I just have to say that I like the Silent Hill movie better than more than most people did. Oh, the first one? Yeah. It's amazing. I like it. I like, I like it. When I hear and the... Yes. I'm, I literally you, still, I'm like, I get like anxiety. Wait, but you know why it was good? Why? It was R. Oh, yeah. I think it, it was, was R. R. It, well, it had to have been. There were some scenes yeah. in there where I remember... I'm yeah, like, but for That's pretty dark. Dude, speaking of horror films though, I'd love to just see a remake, not of all the Resident Evils, but just four. Like as a, oh, like, yeah. a cool, I, I, that would be a great movie I all on its own. I actually like the Resident Evil movies. And no, no, but I just want to see like a four. That, that storyline is like yeah. perfect. But it's it, so good. But it has to be R. Anything that's horror <laughs> kind of has to be It has to R. have blood and gore. Or Clock Tower, that'd be a good one. Fatal Ooh, Frame would be a good one. That would be good. That'd yeah. be a little dark. We got the Blair Witch video game coming too. That's interesting. Oh, what about Fortnite movie? That's a horror movie already. <laughs> There's nothing more. It is true that every day you wake up screaming, Fortnite! Yes. And then you wake up sweating and you say, Fort Fortnite. <laughs>